Hey everybody, welcome to the fourth edition of Harry Potter Recipes, The Goblet of Sugar. That's right, today we are trying out a couple of desserts from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. Uh, if you want to see the previous three episodes, there will be a link up here and a link in the description to the playlist. So in the past I made a treacle fudge, today I'm going to be making what the cookbook calls homemade fudge, which is not so treacly, although I'm gonna still be using molasses because I don't have any corn syrup. And I'm going to be trying a banana pie, it's called banoffee, somebody tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, it is one of four classically British pies according to the book. I've never heard of it, it sounds very interesting, it's kind of a banana coffee thing. But I don't like coffee, so I'm substituting dark hot chocolate. I do want to note that this year around Thanksgiving, I did make Creature's French Onion Soup, which has become a favorite. I put a lot more salt and pepper than the recipe in the book, but otherwise it's great. And rather than doing sourdough or French bread, I made this book's recipe for soda bread. And it was great! Also this time I used real shaved Parmesan cheese instead of that nasty powder that smells like baby diapers. And it made a big difference. It was really good on the soup and melted on top of the soda bread. It was to die for. But now it's time to try some new desserts. Let's gobble up some Gilly Weed and dive right in! <laughs> Now this Benoffi thing, once again I am cheating, I'm not doing their recipe for a pie crust, I just don't have time, I'm too lazy, and plus I can buy frozen pie crust at the store. I know it's not as good, I confess, but I'm lazy. So I'm skipping all of the instructions about the crust, other than the fact that you have to cut these into smaller circles, so they go in a muffin pan, so it's little pies instead of one big pie. I am making my own whipped cream, because that's definitely part of the flavoring, and that's where the coffee comes in. Place a can of condensed milk, I got the condensed milk, in a pot and cover with water, bring to a boil, and boil for three hours! If the water drops too low, the can may explode. <laughs> I don't want a grenade in my kitchen! Has anyone ever made caramel this way before? This sounds incredibly scary! And slow, I have to watch it boil for three hours? Three hours? I'm gonna be up all night. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Well, the temperature positively raced from 120 up to 190. And now it has stalled. It's been between 195 and 199 for about five minutes. It's taking forever. Meanwhile. Much later. Much, much later. That makes more sense. I think this one is incorrect. This one is closer to correct because this makes sense. Much, much, much later. Okay, that's 116. I'm gonna go ahead and start stirring. 
am tired of waiting. It has been like over half an hour. <coughs> Stir continually until, oh look. <laughs> I think there's definitely something wrong with my thermometer. It actually tastes really good. It does taste like treacle fudge, but it's chewy like caramel. It's almost like gum. Now this I could see Hagrid making and sticking your teeth together. Yes. What's wrong with it? I have no idea. <laughs> Looks like poo. <laughs> Meanwhile. Eventually. So because that can made so much of that cream stuff, caramel, whatever, I decided I'm gonna make those six little ones, but I probably have enough to go ahead and make one big one. So I'm gonna try that too. can do it. Uh, yeah. No. It didn't I didn't let it set up enough. Oh. Table's clean. So that kind of worked. And one piece each of my homemade fudge. Maybe not. So Tammy has already taken her shower and is in her jammies because this took so dang long. Uh, so she is right here off camera and about to taste my graham cracker crust Benoffi pie. What do you think? Woohoo! It needs to set. It needs to set. That's good. Good? Good? Tammy approved. Do put them in the refrigerator for two hours because otherwise they just run all over but two hours from now i'm going to be asleep if you could get that caramel sauce in a different way this would be super easy this would be awesome i would do this all the time but that oil in that can for three hours waiting for it to explode no that is a huge pain in the butt they're really good thumbed up the fudge <laughs> yep this was a complete failure, but this is not the fudge's fault. 
I'm almost sure that my uh, temperature, my thermometer was not working right. I don't know. So anyway, I went out and bought another real candy thermometer. And also Tammy's mom heard what we were doing today and she sent me her fudge recipe, which is chocolate. Anyway, we're gonna try the fudge again. We will get back to it and we're gonna do this right because I love fudge and I really wanted fudge for Christmas and I'm bummed that I'm not gonna have it. Try the banoffee pie, buy the book. I'm gonna put a link down in the doobly-doo so that you can go buy it. Check out the rest of the playlist up here and in the doobly-doo and we will see you next time. Whew.